Hey guys, what's up? It's Harry and James here, and we're doing a video, as promised, of what's going to be in RuneScape 2007 servers and what isn't. This is going to be quite an in-depth in, in -depth video, so feel free to like really sit back and relax and enjoy this one. Anyway, so I'm passing over to James, and on to the first slide. Uh, we're going to start off with what's going to be in it. Um, the skills that's going to be in it that you might think wouldn't be are Construction and Hunter, which I think will be really good, as long as they're... I th actually think there may be another one of those... Juridel things will happen on the 6th of 6th of 6th, you know, when they all came out and killed everyone Falador. There's also going to be the Ava's Accumulator, which will help in range and help you to get the Dark Bow, which is also going to be included, as well as, as, well as the Rune Crossbow. There's going to be Skill Capes, which will be good, because other than then, there's only the Obsidian Cape and the Fire Cape, and those are the, other capes, those are the only capes that actually look decent. And there's going to be Myth Dragons, which drop the Dragon Full Helm, and there's also going to be that activity can't remember what it's called, but they also give it drag four helms. And there's gonna be KBD as well as the Warriors Guild, which will which you can get the Rune Defender from, which I think other than the Dragon Fire Shield, the Crystal Shield, I think the Rune Defender is one of the best shields. And also just to add on to this, do not forget that with the Dark Bow, that is isn't just a drop from a normal monster, it's a, a drop from a, a slayer monster. So yeah, you it's will need like slayer. I think it's Dark Beast, yeah, you need set ninety five slayer for I think. Yeah, they're very high. Um, so, um, on to interface and out of game extras. There's going to be the, uh, what's it called, the stronghold security where you can set recovery questions, which I normally go to straight away, which I recommend because you can get 10k from it and some cool boots, which I, I quite like. Um, there's the clan chat, which I'm actually really happy about, but there won't be citadels, but we'll cover that later. So, it's cl friends chat or clan chat, whatever you want to call it. And there will be the old high schools, which I prefer a lot more. Instead of just showing the top t top ten, you've got the whole thing, and yeah, you can see it just there on the right. Um, and wait, James, you missed out something there. And don't forget, there will oh, yeah. be the uh, achievement diaries, which I'm really happy for. To be honest, as as you may have known, they they, they did remove achievement diaries in late 2012, and I, I personally found achievement diaries really fun. So I'm quite happy to have that. Oh, you can get that Varal Karma, which I think you can then sm uh, smelt in Edgeville, which would be good. Yep. Oh, no, wrong way. Okay, on to extras. There will be the ditch, which is... Uh, I don't know if I'm happy about it or not. I'd rather it wasn't there. It's more old school about it. There's going to be the mage training arena, which I don't use for mage training. It's not that good. But you can get cool items like the, um, the mage's book and the master one and stuff, so that's quite cool. There's going to be the Dorgesh Khan, I think it's pronounced, where you can get the Bone Crossbow, which is actually pretty good for training range. Um, as well as the Pity, I think it's called, and Chivalry, which are actually really good prayers. Because other than that, there's not much strength for stat boosting prayers that actually are really good. There's going to be Clue Scrolls, um, updated music, so there'll be a lot more music than there was in 2006. Uh, pest control, barbarian assault. Oh yeah, barbarian assault, which I actually really like because I want to get the fighter torso for my account and the fighter hacks. They look sick. Um, and there's going to be the nit Nitsanot, I think it's pronounced. That island where you can get Nitsanot helm, which I think is one of the better helms in the game. Well, an interesting fact, like in 2007, the helm, the, the hat you can get from barbarian assault will be the best, and the second best will be the helm you get from um, that place. Well, so fighter helm, that. then Nitsanot yep. helm, and then berserk exactly. helm. There's also going to be Sorcerer's Garden for Thieving, which is home of botters, so yeah. Let's hope there's no bots. Yeah. Um, Alright, so now this is over to me. What will not be in 2007? So we'll begin with what people are most interested in, the bosses. As most of you will have known, there will be no God Wars Dungeon. God Wars Dungeon, well, the, the, the 2007 we'll be playing is 2007, 10th of August. The, they released God Wars Dungeon on the 28th of August, so that's only 18 days later, so we just miss out. There's quite a fair amount of mixed opinion about this, but I'm quite disappointed, to be honest. We will also not have a Corporal Beast, so that is obviously there will no be Divines, etc. There will, no, there will not be Tormented Demons, no Dragon Claws. Good, no rushes. And um will be no glacors, so that's all the boots like steadfasts and so on. And there'll be no revenants. Mind you, I don't know who considered revenant boss anyway. I'm happy that they're not now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, straight on to quests. So the quests the, uh, obviously there's loads and loads of quests that aren't gonna be in two thousand seven. I've just highlighted the most sort of important influential ones. So first up is the Legacy of Seergaze quest. This sort of expands the sort of eastern side of RuneScape map, careful, um, the, um, the eastern side of RuneScape map quite a bit. So that it'll be 
quite reduced, but I'm sure we're all used to that from having played 2006 Cape and so on. Um, next up we know Spirit of Summer. This is closely linked to the Corporal Beast because you need to complete this quest to get to the Corporal Beast. Um, no Temple of Sinistin, no curses, no smoking kills. For those of you who don't know, this is a Slayer Helm quest. So this gives you a Slayer Helm, but that will not be there. No Ritual of Majorat. Um, not exactly sure what this does, not done it in the real game. Um, there will be no Nomad's Requiem, Requiem, so that, that is no Soul Wars Cape. The Soul Wars Cape was actually the best prayer cape in the game, I believe. And there will be no Void Stairs back. Alright, so that's everything on quests. On to skills and skilling stuff. Alright, so basically the two obvious things will be no summoning and no dungeoneering. Thank god, we're really happy about that. Um, and and also, this isn't like an item as such, but you will not have the same skills you have at the moment in RuneScape. Your skills will be refreshed. It's quite an important note. And then, um, uh, as you can see down here, the herbs, they, they will no longer be unid herbs. They will now be grimy. And even though that's quite a small change, but I thought I might as well include no, I, it. I prefer it like that, because when you get a chop, you can actually see what they are, and you don't get scammed as much. Because people would say, like, selling units which are Ranars when they're not Ranars. And oh, you, yeah. you get scammed people. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point, so that's really handy. Uh, and then also that's quite good once you're actually at a high combat level, because you, you then don't waste your time picking up herbs which aren't that good. You only pick up herbs that are actually worth cash. Oh, yeah. Um, then just left of that is the Slayer Helm, this is what I talked about in Smoking Kills. The Slayer Helm is will, will, what you earn with, with uh, um, Slayer points and so on. So this will heavily slow down the tr training rate of Slayer, but I'm sure that's to be expected. And the left of that is the Living Rock Caverns. For those of you who quit um, quite a while ago, this is basically a place of like infinite resources practically. And also a lot of bots. <laughs> a lot of bots, but infinite resources. There's, you can get a lot of fish and a lot of coal there, and, and gold I think. And I'm quite glad to see that go, because that just made training way too easy, in my opinion. And then we've got the ZMI Altar, which is in Oriana. And this basically just helped runecrafting become more easy. Um, it's a shame that this isn't in it, because runecrafting is pretty hard as it is. And then just above that is Bonfires. Bonfires are a recent update. They just made fire making incredibly easy, but they're not going to be there. And then uh, to the left of the ZMI is the, um, what is that called? The Artisan's Workshop. That's a place where they make smithing more easier. So basically, if you're trying to train skills easily and get EXP easier, it's not going to be in there. And then we've also got the Tool Belt. Tool Belt will not be there, nor will the Dragon Pick. And there will, no, there will not be Curadel's Dungeon. So the top Slayer Master will not be there. And then to the right of the Dragon Pick, actually, don't know what that is. That's actually a Jadinko. That's quite recent. And that's to do with Herblore, I think. And that will not be there either. And let me check. So yeah, training will be a lot harder, but I prefer that to be honest. Yeah, that's to be expected. I've I've begun to find in recent years they're just handing out XP way too easily. All right, so the next slide is combat. So firstly, there will be no evolution of combat, as we all know, Thank and that's God. why we're <laughs> campaigning for this. <laughs> evolution of combat is shit. Um, there'll be no curses. So like um, yeah, well you know, soul split, turmoil, and all those things. Which I quite like, but uh, no. uh, uh, obviously I'm more than happy to give them up. Maybe for getting this. way too easy. Yeah, but they, they were helpful when you're doing um, going to God was Dungeon and mm. of Buck or Dungeon and here. Um, next, there will be no overloads. I'm pretty pleased about that, to be honest. And then the thing underneath the overload potion, the black potion, is that guy doing that move. Even uh, just as I was preparing myself for this video, I didn't know what this was. But upon further research, they released it this year. It's basically um, a function called what? One second. Uh, it's called surge, I think. Yeah. So surge basically it means you can run fast. You sort of jump forward t ten spaces in the map. And I don't know why they bothered releasing this, because how come they made run and walk in the first place? They just want you to go everywhere faster. But that's obviously not going to be in there. That sounds pointless. Yeah, it is. And then, looking at the three people at the bottom, there'll be no Vestas, um... I can't remember what the other ones are called. That's like... Oh, that's... What is it? That looks like Void, but actually... No, 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 this one, this one. Um, that's Statius. Yeah, so, so yeah, there'll be no Vestas, Statius, and that stuff. Then there'll be no Elite Void armor. And to the right of that is Corrupt Dragon, I think, and Corrupt Dragon will not be in there. 
And then, obviously, because there's no dungeoneering, there will be no chaotic weapons. And this means the highest level weapons will be at level 70. So, that'd be quite strange, like, only having that as highest level weapons. But it'd be quite nice, I think. Um, obviously, there'll be no Bandos and other items from God's Dungeon. There'll be no gravestones, so be prepared to lose items more often. There'll be no sort of food above sharks and mantas, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I think mantas are the best food in the... Yeah, I believe so, so there'll be no rock tails and the like. And as James covered uh, earlier, there'll be no dragon defenders. Righty, here we go, on to minigames. Okay, so I'll just run through these, because obviously you know what it is. There'll be no Fist of Guthics, no Steeding Creation, no Soul Wars, no Conquest. Sadly, no Clan Wars. I was hoping that'd be oh, in there, but good. not. That was fun. And um, there'll be no Mobilising Armies. But to be honest, I think we're fine without all of those, apart from Clan Wars. But yeah, mobilising mobilizing armies just made the chat box ugly because if you, you get titles from there, which I hated to be honest. Yeah, but also the the, the main thing of mobilising armies was to enchant the seers rings, enchant the berserker rings, oh, yeah. and all those stuff. Um, yeah, those will be in it because there is um Dagnoff, so berserker yes, rings will be in it, but not enchanted. But thank God, not enchanted because when I played, like I I couldn't be bothered to mobilise army because it was such a terrible game. But I felt like I had to to enchant my rings. Anyway, um. On to miscellaneous, so this is all the other random stuff that will not be in it. Firstly, um, there'll be no, um, <laughs> there'll be no Grand Exchange, which, as we all know, no Achievement Diaries, we've already covered that, and this item here is called the Orb of Oculus. This is to record the screen in new angles rather than just your player thing, so this is only, mostly used by people who make films, um, like RuneScape films, and I didn't ever use it, and so it doesn't really affect me that it's gone, but some of you who do like making machinimas will be disappointed. Um, there be no home teleports, I believe, and there'll be no max completionists and all those type of capes. Also, don't forget there will be there will be random events because I'm I think they took them out later on in Rune. Yes, so. they did take them out after they tried to remove the bot, so they believe they don't need them. Yeah. So there will be random events still. Um, and this in the corner we have r all the rares. This is quite undecided at the moment. Well, they haven't they haven't discussed yet, but I. Like, don't know whether they'll put them in or not. Yeah, they, they've begun to post some threads about it on the official RuneScape forums, yeah. but that's still in debate. The thing is, if they aren't in there, then prices will go up, will be higher, I think, because there's more disposable money, because people used to, used to waste their money on rares to show wealth, but now it will all go into other items to make prices go up, which I don't know if, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I guess we'll find out. And then finally, there is rest, which I found quite useful, but it's a shame to see it go, but um, a necessary sacrifice. And, okay, on to bank and game mechanics. This is the last one. Alright, so, first of all, there's quite a lot in the bank, but they, they basically totally revamped the bank. First of all, they have tabs. Tabs are pretty useful. And they had the sort of enhanced surge function and the sort of withdraw and to deposit all that thing. Was, yeah, that was and one of my summoning. favorite ads. Pardon? That was one of my favourite things I used. Yeah. I hate it. was very useful. I find it quite annoying clicking all of them. But once again, I'm willing to make all these sacrifices. Um, next up is the, the, the price checker. Price checker is removed, and that's good. I think I prefer the prices being more sort of controlled by the people rather than they just check their price yeah. checker. And then um, they released RuneScape HD. So as you can see, this is what a character looked like then before in 2007, and this is what he would look like now wearing the exact same armour. So, as you can see, it's, it's alright, really. We'll manage. Um, and just next, they, they've they now... We, we will not have a lend feature, so you can't lend items. I never really saw the point of lending anyway, so... Just, yeah. Just yeah. Glad to see that gone. We This will be pre-bot nuke day, but they did say if we reach enough votes, they will be working on a sort of similar thing. The server, which I hope we do, because bots will kind of ruin it. For yeah, me I think they already do have the bot technology, but they will implement it if they have to. If we get the... Amount of votes. Yeah, and I really hope we do, because if this game is just clustered with bots, it's not going to be enjoyable, in my opinion. Mm. Obviously, there'll be no citadels, but no one really liked them. And there'll be no pouch to store your money. Mind you, that wasn't, you know, particularly amazing. And there'll be no XP counters, so we will not be able to, um, you can't track your XP using that. I'm, but sh I'm sure lots of external sites will set up for that process. And then, let's picture your mouse, you're probably wondering what that is. But you cannot control your viewpoint, your, your camera, using the centre mouse yeah, wheel. Yeah, you could do a field of view, point of view thing, which I never used. <laughs> yeah, except, so that feature will not be there. And then, fraps, you're wondering, what's that got to do with RuneScape? 
basically they released something sort of late 2009 I believe that made it possible to use fraps to record RuneScape and that will now be gone so you cannot use fraps to record you'll have to use something such as Hypercam for example I love that and um I mean I think that brings us to the end of our panel point so thank you very much for watching guys thanks guys and um we'll see you soon and be be sure to leave leave any comments if we missed anything important out and be sure to share us with your friends to and like. get them interested. And like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, okay. thanks guys. Thanks guys, bye. I can run. Six.